الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته My dear students of year 4 Welcome in a new lesson of our Islamic studies I hope all of you are in the best health and we will just extract our the title of our lesson after this activity Look to this picture and try to describe what happened in this picture Think, as you see in this picture, this man provides those needy children by some food. What's your duty toward poor and needy in your community? Yes, wonderful. Help them, respect them, and give them some food or drink, and care by them. Wonderful. And do you know that Allah and the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam love more the one who care by poor and needy? So our lesson today will be about care of needy. Our learning objectives explain the concept of the needy, infer that providing help for the needy is national and religious duty. Cite the evidence for the reward of care for the poor and the needy. Indicate the U.S. role in care for the needy inside and outside the country. The previous lesson and this lesson, the previous lesson, grace of water and our lesson, care of needy. Yes, both of them are good deeds and both of them are care by yes save our community this save the water and this is safe and care by poor and needy because if we not care by poor and needy maybe they die maybe they they do any bad deeds in the community so when we care by them also with uh, normal we get good deeds and we help them to to stay alive and also we kept our community from the criminals okay Look at this picture. You will paint a smile on the face of the blind. This is the mentioned in the Al Bayan magazine. The, this is UA magazine. And do you know what the rule of UAE to care by needy and those blind? Yes. UAE do more good deeds to help and care by all those in special needs blind, poor, needy, orphans, widows, etc. So, UEE, a wonderful country in caring by needy
And here another hadith. This is hadith. The one who looks after widow or poor person is like a mujahid warrior who fights for Allah's cause or like him who performs prayers all the night and fasts all the day. What do you mean? For now this hadith mean? Yes, the one who care by widow. Do you know what the meaning of widow? Yeah, widow. This is the woman which her husband died. Who care by widow and poor. This is like Mujahid who fight in the sake of Allah and like who perform all his prayers and like who fast all the day. And this is another hadith. From the Prophet ﷺ, don't turn away a poor man, even if all you have is a half of dead. If you have, if you love the poor and bring them near to you, God will bring you near Him on the day of resurrection. Read it by Tirmizi. What the reward for care by needy from this hadith? Yes, as you see here, I hope bring the poor. And needy near of him, Allah will bring him near to him, to him in the day of resurrection. And here another some important thing here. Uh, don't turn away from the poor. Don't told him I I not have anything to give. No, even you have a half of dead, give to him. Don't think that this is a little thing. No, this is little thing uh, on Allah is a big thing. And for this um, a bull is a big thing because maybe he didn't find anything to eat or drink. And when you give to him this half of that, this he ate it and thank Allah and thank you. Okay, so all of you try to help poor and needy as much you can, even little things. Our learning objective number one explain the concept of the needy. After what we mentioned in the starter, our lesson try to give me a concept meaning of needy. Yeah, needy, yes, each one need help by any kind of help and you can mention the group in needy, those people that they need help Poor, disabled, lack of necessities of life, orphan, widows, moral help, and suffer those who suffered from disaster. Do you know what the meaning of orphan? Yes, orphan, the child that his father died. And the second learning objectives indicate the U.S. role in the care for the needy inside and outside the country. And we know we need to put a point on this matter. The Zaid Sheikh Zaid Humanitarian Day. This is comes in the 19th of Ramadan. And do you know what the the UAE doing in this day? Yes, this is day is a. Uh, 
they for helping poor and needy not only inside the UAE but also around the world This is a humanitarian action was established by Sheikh Zayed, they were ranked top the, in this field. Working in humanitarian assistance has a great reward from Allah's. And as you see, Sheikh Zayed was caring by the poor children and the sheikhs for the all the sheikhs for UAE from Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed for UAE and Sheikh Muhammad bin Zayed and Sheikh Muhammad bin Rashid and all the sheikhs of UAE they take care more by helping poor and needy as the example of their father Sheikh Zayed May Allah mercy him and enter him paradise. This is a way support inside and outside UEE. Inside UEE, care for special needs providing them by medical and psychological and social care and outside UAE providing uh, support real life for those affected by natural disasters conflicts wars through urgent aids and you can look forward this and try to find more is that UAE provide the needy around the world try to find out from this picture at least five things or five is that UAE provide those people in need. Here in a enriching information and more information for the UAE helping for needy. This is one Tarkeswa clothing provide people buy clothing those who have in bad weather and here care are for patients by dentists, blankets, medicine, etc. Feeding the needy, give them foods, and here education for the poor children. They give him some educational things, bags, box, pencils, etc. Our learning objective number three, cite the evidence for the reward of care for the poor and needy.
and these two hadiths, we need to extract also the group of needy. Number two, the door of goodness are many listening to the deaf, leading the blind, guiding one to the object of his need, hurrying with the strength of your legs to one in sorrow who is asking for help, the feeble with the strength of your armies, all these are acts of charity. So, who, and which group of needy mentioned in this hadith? If you look carefully, you will find a deaf and blind and guiding the one to the object of his need. And some, some, someone is not find his place or not find his parents like this, maybe he lost. So you help him in this matter. This is also helping for needy and Allah will give you good deeds. The third hadith, those who help widows and the needy are in status like the fighters in the curse of Allah or the worshippers who pray all night and fast all days narrated by al-Bukhari and we mentioned this hadith before and the group of needy in this hadith as you see you will find here help widows and needy okay so you are right here for needy and we try to seek your answer for here the reward for who care by poor and needy they will be in the best people to Allah it causes the tenderness of heart it is it will enter paradise and the uh, and Allah will help him and they will get good deeds okay and here this is group activity the group number the orange one WB you need to answer these questions I sent already the PowerPoint on your class wall so try to check from the PowerPoint, not from video, because video is fast. Yeah, okay, so from PowerPoint, try to answer these questions. The red group try to answer this question about activity, right, the opinion, agree or disagree in the following uh, Tetiots, number, I will help you in two. My mother asks me to deliver something to our widow's neighbors and her orphan children. So this is good or bad? This is good. So we agree for this act. Number two, my friend refused to a special need on a wheelchair to join our team in scientific competition. So this is good or bad? He refused. A special needs to join with him in the scientific uh, competition so this is bad I should to let those uh, children on special needs my friend is on special needs to uh, help, uh, play with me to uh, work with, uh, with me in class to uh, join me in the uh, scientific competition or any competition during uh, inside our school try to answer the rest of these sentences the green group you should to answer what are the domains of care for those in needy domains mean fill this what the fill this for care by needy and this is the answer there are three kind of caring by needy there is physical domains like food money clothing moral domains by respect them treat them well and in the casual domains and this is mean uh, provide them by education and learning okay and this individual activity try each one to 
answer this picture and take a picture for your answer and upload it in, in, in classroom who will answer this I will add it to dojo for him try to read and how can we help those people in need and this is the summary of our lesson number one the groups we need to uh, we need to know first the groups of need like disabled orphans widows etc the reward for those for who help the uh, those people in need what the reward it causes tenderness for their heart they among the best people to allah allah will help him and they will enter paradise okay this is the reward and the areas the care of them we know this there are three areas three fields to care by needy uh, by uh, physic, uh, physical physical health and education health and intellectual health okay and this is imagination and i need also for each one to answer this activity and to send me your answer also this have to do you uh, send your answer uh, cl uh, during classroom what this picture mean and this is related to care by needy okay and our link is for our lesson with arabic what the arabic word for needy al muhtajin al muhtajin with light how do you care by needy inside your community and with life what you do to care by needy and the challenge question mention name of three charitable organization work in uae to care by needy and our resources Islamic book youtube get charles powerpoint and 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 your homework will be answers to this activities pages 155 to 150. This is the basis for uh, homework. This is completion. And in the end of our lesson, I hope all of you understand. And if you need anything, uh, don't hesitate to connect with me by any way and i will be pleasure to talk and explain to you and we have also a, a live a lesson you can join me and uh, and ask me what you want thank you very much assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh